Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the San Diego Padres going up against the Kansas City Royals. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. And Chris, a guy that's been having a huge impact for this team all year. Bobby Witt Jr. leads the team at OPS, so he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks, he'll barrel up the baseball, he'll hit the ball in the gaps, he'll hit the ball over the fence. So talk about a guy going good. That's him right now, and he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher. Well, that whip is just below the league average, and that's a good thing in this case, not allowing too many base runners. So for most days, he's going to go out there and compete and put his team in a position to win, and I expect to see that from him in this one today. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out, and there's one down. As we take a look at the Padres lineup, this is one of the best teams in the league when it comes to drawing walks, Chris, so we'll probably see a very patient approach from them. Yeah, Boogie, that's often uh, what leads to a lot of runs scored. You get runners on base, you work that pitch count up for the opposing pitchers, and then you take advantage when they make mistakes, you get into that bullpen. You can tell that everyone up and down this lineup just comes in with a great plan of attack, a lot of patience, just like you said. Went oh. over to first, and they take care of Tatis for the that out. Third. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. Ten. That is an excellent pace. Now batting jerks in Profar. And first offering is fouled off. Profar gets a piece there. Gets a piece and it stays 0-2. And yeah, the right hander deals. Fights it off, you'll see another. Two out spaces empty. Outside low. Now one and two. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Bounce to the right. Frazier tosses the first. Padres go down one, two, three. Nothing doing there for the Friars. The Royals will get their chance now in a scoreless ball game. Back after this on the show. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, today's starting pitcher, Joe Musgrove. Well, you know this guy wants to be better than that. I mean, the ERA is bloated. He understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball games. And at this point, you have to forget about your own individual stats, and you have to go out there and attack and try to get that W. And if you do that, you'll look up, and most likely that ERA will have dropped over time. The why to kick the pitch. Ball two. Two balls, no strike. Misses well, off the play. inside, and it's 3 0. Well, I would expect in this 3 0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they walk you. That one misses, so a leadoff walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. He didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. Foul ball there. Runner at first with no outs here. Foul. The 0 2. Grounder might be two. Off balance oh, no. beat. There's one. No, Over to first safe. That is good. The designated hitter. Vinny Pasquantino steps in for the Royals. Runner on the goal. 
And a foul ball. Man, is he fast. That is so fun to watch. Move to first. No, he's and he's there. back in there. Here's the old one. One and one. Pitch out, but no action. The one one. A little out front there as he swings through it. One ball. Whip over at first with one away. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Back to back curveballs and back to back whips. And I tell you what, that's having a feel for what you can beat a hitter with. And clearly he wasn't picking up that breaking ball at all. Now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. That pitch in for a strike. And it's 0-1. 0-1. Two outs. That one, one missed. Right-hander kicks, deals. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Musgrove throws hey. over. Back standing. He's in there safely. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Way outside. <laughs> now two and two. Uh, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Kicks and fires. Stays alive. Great and another ball. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Lifted in the air, right center field. Moving under it. And that'll do it. So one left for Kansas City. We played an inning. No score. Back here in Kansas City. Now here's Jake Cronenworth. Cronenworth, seventh round pick by the Rays in 2015 out of the University of Michigan, where he was a two way guy. And in fact, the Rays used him that way. Swings through that run out in front that time. Carl Nixon doing the umpiring behind the plate. And Boog, I'm not sure if it's because he sort of sets up higher than most, but one thing to be aware of with Dixon is the high strike. Not usually a big deal because most players are swinging at pitches up there, but we may see some surprise looks from hitters from time to time because that's just so unusual. And it's through for a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. Now Machado up here. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. And a pop up right side foul territory. Perez hauls it in and there's one away. That is it. The white fielder number six. David. David Peralta at the plate. And nope. that one's a little bit low. And it's 1-0. Oh. Just oh, missed. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, you're going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. And a foul ball makes the count 2-1. Righty to the plate. Fouls one off. Two and two. 
Man at first, one away. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. And now the count is full, and another power hitter lurking in the on-deck circle. At the belt and fires. In the air, out towards right center. On the move. Brings it in. Jackson Merrill, the next up for the Padres. This one chopped up the middle. On the run, sends it no, over to first. Hurt. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Tough play on a nice backhand stop. Had to be perfect with the exchange and throw to get the out, but it looked like he had to dig in there a little deeper, like he was trying to get a split finger grip or something. Close play, but that little extra time on the transfer made all the difference. So two on with two away. Now the batter now, Hassan <laughs> Kim. Right through there for a strike. Two on, two outs. Fouled off. He was late. He Check Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. No swing. Just held it back there. Cronenworth on second. Merrill on at first with two down. One, two. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Two outs. Foul ball still a one and two count. Now well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around. Out towards right center field. Could be extra bases. One runs in. Merrill headed for the plate. Relay throw. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. So it's one run, three hits, no errors, and one left on. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Padres one, and the Royals nothing. Bottom of the second, to and to the plate for Kansas City, Nelson Velasquez. Musgrove back to work. There's the strike. And a ground ball to first. It's through for him. That's Even though he was really late on it, he clearly barreled the ball yeah, because no. that one was ripped. Yeah, down sure. He had to be really short with that swing, not get beat by that pitch. Here's Adam Frazier. That one no, way no. inside. in there tying run is at first bottom half of inning number two the next oh. pitch misses now two balls and a strike runner on the goal and fouled off left hand hitter waits Pop up here, third base side. Gets there. He's under it. Squeezes it. And there's one away. The Here's the catcher to hit. Freddie Fermin. 
This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. In for a strike. Oh, and one. When you have a catcher that can throw like that, a pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics intact and have a better opportunity of getting that hitter out with a swing and miss. Everything came together for him. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin no off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And now, M.J. Melendez. And that one is in for a strike. All ones we count. Runners at first and second with one gone. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Left hand batter waits. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Two on, one out. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off one tough ball. pitches. That one almost got him. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. One out. Runners at first and second. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. Going to lay off that pitch down. This one popped up, middle of the infield. infield fly, and the infield down. fly is called. Batting gun. The center field. Garrett. Here's Garrett Hampson. Keep an eye on this at bat because even though it's early, it could change the outcome of this game. Look for your pitch and attack it. That misses ball. the zone, and that's ball one. Ball one, no strike. Swings through that one for strike one. We got a ball, one strike. And a pitch. Right side. He's got it. And that is out number three. Royals strand a pair. And it remains 1-0. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. Higashioka in his sixth season, hitting ninth in today's lineup. And he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2008. Righty delivers. And a foul ball. The line of the pitch. And that's outside. Now two balls and a strike. Swings through that. The line of the pitch. It goes down looking. Oh, just excellent location on that inside fastball. It really locked him off. And as a hitter, it's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called the ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Luis Arise stands in. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. And the pitch. 
And a foul ball. He stays alive. The 0 2. On the ground. Witt gets it to first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Two outs, base is empty. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. He's 0 for 1. This hitter Whoa. loves attacking the first pitch, so not giving him something to hit is a good move. And the 1 0. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Melendez makes the catch. And that is that. And we're back as we go to the last of the third. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals, number 11. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good line one delivers. That one finds the corner, and that is strike one. Man, I mean... Nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Ball oh, one there. Yeah, that skips into there. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Calls it in for the out. The batter number seven. Bobby Witt Jr. steps in for the Royals. Over one, he hit into a fielder's choice his first time. That's through there for a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And a pitch. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Next is the designated hitter, Vinny Pasquantino. And first offering is fouled off. Home team down a run here in the last half of the third. Inside just missed. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And no one can get there. And that's going to roll to the wall. And he's in at second with a two-out double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That was a pretty good pitch. Breaking ball down and in. But when it's breaking in for you, you have a lot of time to see it and just try to get on plane with it. He hit that one pretty well. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Salvador Perez. Oh, that's that outside helps. and that is ball walk and the strategy of winning a ball game when you can make that pitcher work a little more expose himself by throwing pitches that could be the key to winning perhaps later on so good job of extending this inning getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up to the left side but it is well fouled Pasquantino at second with two down Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. In the dirt, blocked. Man on second, two down. 
And connect on the curve ball struck him out. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Here at Kaufman Stadium, start of the fourth, the now the left fielder, Jerickson Profar. The wind of the pitch. And that clips the inside corner. Here comes the one. In the air, left field. Melendez makes the catch, and there's one down. Here's the second baseman, Jake Cronenworth, who singled and scored his first time. On the ground to third, and that one finds its way through. Around first, heading for two. Cronenworth the route second headed for third the relay he's in there love how he let that ball travel he trusted his hands nice job of going the other way Machado one down and here is Manny Machado. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Counts one and oh. Kick Sandios. And a changeup clips the zone for a strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Here comes the pitch. Misses That's just three. off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Well, they've had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. And Manny gets a piece. One away with a runner at third. Top half of inning number four. Line drive. Makes a nice running catch. Runner tagging from third. He'll score on the sack fly. It's 2 nothing. That wasn't your standard sack fly. He barreled that baseball. Just couldn't get it to drop in. And now the right fielder, David Peralta. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Foul ball. Two down, nobody on. And there's a foul ball. And the righty deals. Outside. One and two to count. Battling here as he fouls it away. Two outs. And nope. another ball. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. Oh, the throw is wild. Round second, take it for third. Really nice job to take that inside pitch and pull it into the gap. He could have easily spun off of it or just been tied up. He stayed short to the baseball, and he was thinking triple right out of the box.
Here's the kid, Jackson Merrill. His first major league hit happened in Korea during the Seoul Series with the Padres. Whoa, Nearly 7,000 miles away from his hometown of Baltimore. He had to travel across the world for his first career hit, but I think that makes it even more special, Boo. What a cool moment that was for him. The 1-0. -oh. There's the strike. Out there to center. Hampson under it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. A run on two hits, and they leave one. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Padres two, and the Royals nothing. Back here in Kansas City. Now it's the right fielder, Nelson Velasquez. Musgrove back to work. Strike one. Well, these Royals just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches they're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Line drive to short and caught. That swing right there tells me he's seen the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Adam Frazier steps in for the Royals. First time up was a pop out. That one's in there, and that's strike one. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. And forget it. He sends it out of here. His second of the year, and they're on the board. It's 2-1. That gives this offense something to celebrate for the first time in this one. He's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run. The slight opposite field into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. So one out, nobody on. And now it's going to be Freddie for me. Breaking ball through there for a strike. One out, base is empty, and a run in. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Profar pulls that one down. That's out number two. The left field, number one, MJ. It's all up now for Kansas City. MJ Melendez. He popped out his first time. That one blasted deep to right. Peralta going back. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. Now around second, going for third. And he's got himself a triple. Found no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. Two outs with a man at third. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Garrett Hampson. Hey. And a big swing and a miss. Oh and one. Breaking ball is in for a strike, and quickly it is nothing in two. Melendez at third with two away. And a curve misses outside, ball one. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0 2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. That one just misses, and that's ball two. Close pitch there, and he's kind of wondering where it missed. You know, 
getting a feel for each umpire's strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game and sometimes from a bat to a Three bat. Three. Misses outside and the count is filled up. Well, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. And a 3-2. Struck him out looking. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. And welcome back to the ballpark. Leading off, Ha Sung Kim. And the right hater back to work. Well, Kim is one of those players that it's just hard to take your eyes off of him, man. Not many players in the 2023 World Baseball Classic had more fun than he did. He hit a grand slam and a win against China, and earlier in the tournament had a two-homer game. Delivered some special moments for Korea. Hit in the air, right field. Makes the grab one away. Now back Stepping back. in for San Diego, Kyle Higashioka went down on strikes his first time through. In there at the knees, 1 down base is empty. Foul ball it stays nothing in 2. The pitch. Off the mark there and the count is 1 and 2. Would he chase that time. Gets a piece and stays alive. Here's a 2 2. On the ground, right side. Frazier. The throw to first. That's it out. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. So the batting order turns over. Luis Arias, the next up for the Padres. That's down and in. That one fouled off. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Just missed. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. On the ground, right side, Frazier. Slings to first, out number three. Padres go down quietly as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now the third baseman, number 11. The right-hander back to work. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Oh, and one. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Oh, that pitch no, wasn't even close to being a strike, and that just goes to show you how defensive hitters can be calm when they're up against an 0-2 count. You're just hoping for mistakes somewhere near the zone that you can get the bat to, but right there, he was clearly anxious. He was swinging when the ball left the hand. Witt lays no, off there. down low as he digs in for the third time. The 1-0. Oh. 
Bases empty one away. Last half of inning number five. The shortstop Damn. takes the ball. Foul ball there. The pitch. Outside okay. low. And it's three and two. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. One out, base is empty. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Now the throw to first on the run. Oh. Home man for the fifth inning, moving along two quick outs. Well, that was a good job to make sure he had a good handle on the baseball to get off a strong throw. And sometimes guys will rush that, and that's the difference right there. It ended up being a close play, but he got it. Here's the Royals' designated hitter, Vinny Pasquantino. And yeah, that's too high. Ball one, no strike. Two down, nobody on. Fought off foul. Here one one, check swing, appeal down to third. And no swing, says Joe McDonald. Two outs. A little nope. bit high. And that's ball three. <laughs> Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Machado drifts towards it and puts the squeeze on that one. That is the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. We're through five. It's the Padres two and the Royals one. And we're back. We start of the six. John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Fernando Tatis Jr. And he deals. That's in for a strike on the outside corner. It's a one. Fernando Tatis Jr. signed by the White Sox 2015 for $700,000. And then eventually moved in the James Shields trade in June of 2016. Next offering is in for a strike. Two of the most potent offenses in the game squaring off. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Tatis waits. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first down. Usually when you see several pitches, you're going to get at least one that you might be able to do something with. But they didn't exactly challenge him in any way right there. And really, they just used his aggressiveness against him. I don't think he even got a pitch in the zone. No, that's a good point, Siggy. He goes down on strikes, but not a single pitch was actually in the strike zone. Profar in the box again. Takes a strike. Profar, a career batting average over 300, and he's a native of Curacao. One down, base is empty. In the air to left center. Melendez going after it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And yeah, there's two away. The second baseman, Jay. Now it's the second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Sliced hard, but foul. Two down, nobody on. He swings and fouls one off. Finish him. And a pitch. Ball, that's out. That Whoa, one misses. And the count's even at two. And another ball. Manny Machado 
in the on deck circle. Two outs. That one down the line and foul ball. The pitch. Foul ball and it remains a full count. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Out to short. That ends the frame. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Padres two and the Royals one. Bottom of the six. And here's the first baseman, Salvador Perez. The line of the pitch. And that one fouled off. The 0 1. This one in the air center field. Makes the catch for the out. Now back right field. And next up for the Royals, Nelson Velasquez. And a foul ball. Home team down a run here in the bottom of the sixth. Close one doesn't get the call. Ball one. Velasquez tries to hold up, appeal to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing according to Eric Summers Gill. The pitch. This is outside. The count now two and two. It's a good take. On a line out towards center. Puts it away for the out. Two down. It was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets now, under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit Adam. more, that's way better. Adam Frazier digs in now. He's already homered here in this one. That's off the inside edge. One and oh. Right through there for a strike. That curveball's been a big pitch for him today. He's been able to get ahead in the count with it. He's also been able to use it to put guys away. They had a foul ball. Breaking ball, and that got him. He had him 1-2, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Now, Freddie for me, one for two. First pitch misses. Well, in this situation, the hitter knows that he's got to find a pitch that he can drive in order to drive in that tying run all the way from first base. So if he can't do that, keep the line moving. The walk or just a base hit. But you've got to stay within yourself. Kicks and fires. And it's even up. One ball, one strike. Frazier leads off first with two down to the inning. Fly ball down the line. And that drops foul. And the right hander deals. That, that misses. Balls two balls, two strikes. And he's close as he's trying to get through six full innings right now. He's about to throw his 100th pitch. I'd be surprised if this isn't it for him. a piece there we'll do it again and now it's three and two 
Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. MJ Melendez next up for Kansas City. Three, two now. And a base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Now back, left field. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Joe Musgrove has done in this one. Pretty good effort, and he exits with a lead. We'll tell you about the new pitcher when we get back. Out of the bullpen for the Padres, Stephen Cola. Well, he's been excellent against left-handed hitters this year, and that's his first test. This looks like a good move to the pen in terms of the matchup. Two gone with runners at the corners. Now here is MJ Melendez. That's towards center. Merrill should have this one. Makes the grab. And that is the inning. Royals strand a pair. They're down two to one. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Will Smith. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality now pitches out of him right here. here. Got to do his best to Number keep the score three. right where it is. Where? Here's Manny Machado. He's 0 for 1. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. And a pitch. This guy One plays oh. third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play. Can throw from so many different angles and makes really tough plays look very easy. Oh. Wouldn't chase that time. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Well, but one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. That's ball three. And there's a ball. When you look at the ability to save runs defensively, but then also put runs up on the scoreboard, that's the kind of player that every championship team needs to have. There's a strike. Now the three and two. So the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. So digging in now for San Diego, David Peralta. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Movement in the bullpen. Chris Stratton appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Long, the lefty, warming up as well. Left-hand hitter waits. Swinging a foul straight back. The pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Nobody out. Runner at first. The punch out there, and now one away. Jackson Merrill, the next to hit. That one catches the zone. Strike one. Slider misses outside. No, oh, he's really working him away. This at bat sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a roll over something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. And a pitch. Now this is in the air down the line. Melendez drifts towards it. Two down. Up next to the hot the 
Hawk Young Kim. And now the shortstop, Ha Sung Kim. First pitch, and he just misses. And now the lefty, the shortstop takes the ball. Hey. Best ball for a strike. Two balls, one strike. Just missed. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Kicks and deals. And ball four to a board. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. So first and second with two outs. And here's the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. Well, bottom of the order here, Boog. you got to go right after this guy. As they look to pick up an add-on run. And the number nine guy at the plate. Nope. And that one okay. just missed off the outside edge. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat I them. Next offering is in for a strike. That's inside. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. And here it comes. Late swing. Foul <laughs> down. First and second, two down. Here at the top half of inning number seven. That Double one almost got him. Two on, two outs. This one driven. Deep center field on its way. Home run. A massive home run. And they add to the lead. It's 5-1. That's a swing that'll boost the win probability for sure. <laughs> Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient. And it paid off. in the game on hell Serpa he's doing the ball very well oh, over all this season he's been really tough to get to you see that ERA and that's where you love to be Luis arrives now at the plate and first offering is fouled off Two down, nobody on. Up the middle. Sends it to oh. Perez. Third out. <laughs> but the biggest swing of the inning comes right here, a three-run homer. It's now a 5-1 ball game. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, set for the last half of the seventh, and to the plate for Kansas City, Garrett Hampson. The wind of the pitch. Bounced up the middle, finds its way through base hit. So now back to the top of the order. 
Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals. Missed with a changeup. Ball one. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Righty to the plate. And that's Ooh, off inside. the inside edge. Ball two. Action in the pen down there. Johnny Brito, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. Hampson aboard here at first with nobody out. That's in there. Two balls and a strike. Hard ground ball, base down. The throw is wild and it gets away. Just a simple ground ball the other way. No, they have eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's Good all you job. need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a ball. Now let's see if they can string something together, make it a little more interesting. Now the number two hitter, Bobby Witt Jr. Popped up. And that'll fall for a base hit. Now a long throw home. Not in time. He's safe as a run scores. Picks himself up an RBI. But the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman. On the mound now, Adrian Morahone. Left-handed batter at the plate, and he's been excellent in those matchups this year. So this seems like a calculated move. So now the DH spot, Vinny Pasquantino, one for three. That one catches the corner for a strike. The tying run at the plate. Awkward swing there from the big left-handed hitter. Off balance as well. And ball one. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And that is a big first out. Well, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes you're looking to protect. And halfway to the plate, you know you've committed. And you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Two on, one out. Salvador Perez steps in for the Royals. That one missed. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. With the tying run at the plate, you're the bottom of the seventh. In the air, right side. And there are two down. The bat, the right field. Nelson Velasquez steps in for the Royals. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. First and second, two down. And now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. One ball, two strikes. Swinging. Oh. 
Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Top of the eighth, and the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. The why to kick the pitch. That misses, and that's ball one. Popped in the air, left field. Melendez going after it and makes the grab, and there's one down. The left fielder, number 10. Jurickson. Here's the switch hitting left fielder Jerickson Profar. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a ground out. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Just off the inside edge. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and it's two and one. The pitch. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And he deals. And yeah, another ball. ball. Base is empty one away. And we're in the top of the eighth. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Deep left field and forget it. That was blasted to the moon. It's his eighth home run of the year. It's 6 2. That was blasted. Absolutely. No doubt off the bat. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. One out, base is empty. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jake Cronenworth. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. All one's the count. We're down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase you if got? you look down in that area. And Joe McDonald says he won around. <laughs> Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Benny Machado. Pitch is in for a strike, and it's 0-1. And he comes in a strike. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Misses track. off the plate, and it's one and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Two outs. That's down and in. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. The 2-2. The 
Oh, they're missing low. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. On the ground right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 6-2. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Johnny Brito. Definitely a guy that pounds the now strike zone, the makes run hitters run. earn their way on no, base, and rarely really gets in trouble because Johnny of free passes. Brito. Adam Frazier steps Whoa. in for the Royals. He's the already homered in this game. Adam. The Royals Frazier. in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. The pitch. Missed oh, with a changeup. Ball one. Double barreled action in the bullpen for San Diego. Aniel de los Santos up and throwing. Estrada also getting ready. Right hander kicks deals. And it's fouled away. There's a strike. <laughs> Bows it off, still one and two. And another ball. That's out to center field. Base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, patience and discipline paid off right now there as he got into an advantage count. You will often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. The rise. Over to Kim. One. Back to first. Double play. Now, for me, that's one of the Let's toughest play. double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. And here is MJ Melendez. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. The 0 1. That one ripped left field. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. And that's a two out double. Putting some good swings on the ball. That's his second extra base hit in this one. This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here, but once it got over his head in left field, it was extra bases all the way. Man at second here with two away. Now it's going to be Garrett Hampson. There's a strike. Man at second. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. On the move. Makes the grab on the run. And that's the inning. So it's no runs, two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Through eight full, it's the Padres six and the Royals two. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Sam Long. He's been so good against lefties.
And now the right fielder, David Peralta. The right fielder, number six, David Peralta. As he turns on the rubber, you know, with that good live arm delivers. One. And a good eye there. Long one in his second season, he features a four-seam fastball, a curb, a slider, a splitter, and he works in a changeup. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. The wind and the pitch. That's to third, and that one handled. Fires across He's the out. diamond. Now one gone in the ninth. The set of number three, Jackson. Next for the Merrill. Padres, Jackson Merrill. First pitch swinging. Activity in the bullpen. Chris Stratton getting loose out there. Lined, and that's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. Stepping in, ha -Sung Kim. And first offering is fouled off. Merrill, at first, one gone. And there's a foul ball. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the runner stays where he is. Just a hammer. 12-6 curveball right there, bro. That was exactly what he wanted to do with it. Not a ton of pitchers can throw a true 12-6 break, but he does. And you can't throw it any better than he did right there. Step off, throw to first, hey, and he dives back in safely. Higashioka in. in the box here, lets that one go for a ball. And a foul ball. Two outs. And That's another ball. We got two balls, one strike. Swing and a miss. And the count is two and two. Well, when those hitters count, sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. The next offering misses. Full countdown. And he grounds one to the right side. Frazier on the first in time. And that is that. One hit, one left. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order, do up. It's the Padres six and the Royals two. Back now, now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Angel De Los Santos. He's got some of the best swing and miss stuff going right now. He's striking out hitters at a very high rate this year. So this should be fun to watch. So the Royals batting order turns over. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals. The pitch. And he takes a strike. Next one just misses. Going to count one and two. And they'll do it again.
Lifted in the air, out to left, and it drops in. Man aboard on the leadoff single. A couple of hits in a row for him here. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff, a base hit. Digging in, Bobby Witt ball Jr. One. Ball one, no strikes. Ball one, no strikes. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Hey. Clips the corner. One ball, two strikes. The one, two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. He was able to execute the perfect pitch for that situation. Had been pounding in with fastballs, and then all of a sudden pulls out the changeup and has good enough command to make it competitive. Tell you what, varying speeds like that to a hitter can be really, really effective. And right there, you could tell that hitter was just overmatched. Pasquantino in the box with one away as he takes ball one. At the belt and fires. Ball. And another Damn. ball. The Padres leading by four. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Wait on that fastball. No, just do that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Here's the 2 2. Fights it off, you'll see another. Now it's three and two. Three. Struck him out swinging. Royals down to their final out. Oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch no, after no, giving no. up the leadoff Look, single. Back to back strikeout. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. 1 -0. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. Just looked like a lapse in concentration right there behind the plate. Maybe got crossed up, but either way, now they have to deal with the runner in scoring position with two outs. Hey. Swing and a miss, strike one. I got a ball, one strike. Righty delivers on the ground, and this should do it. That's the ball game. A win on the last day of the month. You close it out with the W, but you want to carry that momentum into the next game. And your final, 6-2. to two. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.